Do you people have this problem as well with children in the back of the car? Hi! McDonald's. How's it looking like day two to me? How do I feel? Shabby. I'm feeling fairly crabby because I need a coffee. And I'll be going to uh, a different McDonald's. It's the one at Waitara in Sydney. It's the third closest to me. I was worried that the staff at my regular McDonald's would get spooked out when they saw me eating all this healthy stuff. But, um, it's an interesting McDonald's. It's one of the older McDonald's in Sydney. It's one, I think it's one of the first on the, on the North Shore of Sydney. And it used to have a train theme. Everything in there used to be like old trains and pictures. And it used to also have <clears throat> the window that you could look through and see the people making the Krabby Patties. And that's a bit of a bygone era with McDonald's in Australia. I'm probably just going to get the English muffins again. I was going to get a sausage McMuffin because I'm looking at, I think I need a, a bigger or a better breakfast than just a couple of muffins and a black coffee. But um, like I keep saying the breakfast thing is the hard part to, to get my head around. I'm wondering, I'm, yesterday I asked for an apple and I looked on there all their palaver, their sheets of material that I had. All that stuff, if you remember it, which is highly detailed from the McDonald's website. It, the apples are listed there, but it must have been a miscommun miscommunication. The apple didn't appear from the Thornley McDonald's yesterday. Just got people in front of me making a big order. The other thing I was thinking of was the hotcakes, but not having the butter or the syrup, just having the the bland hotcakes. I gotta tell him my body knows there's something going on. It certainly knows. Please move forward to the next order point. Please move forward to the next order point. Yes sir. Hi, what can I get for you today? May I please have two English muffins and a black coffee? Pardon? Uh two English muffins? And a black coffee. Sure thing. Thank you. Is that a small black coffee? Just a regular size will do fine. Yeah, it only comes in small or large, so I'll take the small one. Did you want a small or a large size? Uh, I'll just have a small then. Alright, that comes up 555 for three, thank you. Thank you. Oops, regular's disappeared. Small or large. Oh, did, oh, did I say strawberry jam as well? I need that strawberry jam, it's got calories. Oh, can I have strawberry jam with those muffins? Is that they come with strawberry jam? Yep. Yeah. Thank okay. you. I'm new to this. Thanks very much. Got the coins change. They gave me a receipt this time, which is sort of interesting. It's a really tight McDonald's to do a drive through, and there's all these things you can hit along the way. It's like a dodgem, it's like a dodgem course. Thank you for that coffee. Hello, thank you. Thanks very much. You too, bye. Very nice. When they said it looked at you in the eye. What does it mean? <laughs> I will park straight up here, I think. Well, let's take a look at what I've got. Here's my coffee. Oh yeah, that's a black coffee. You see that? No milk. The milk is where all the the baddies are. Maybe you could go in and order a skim milk from the McCafe. I'm sure they'd obviously do skim milk, wouldn't they? Hey, I got the jam, even though I forgot to ask for it at the window. That is. And I've got my um, what they called specials. 
Nothing special about her. I think, hey, I got something extra. Yeah, whipped butter. Now, I think the cot. I think that's listed on their thing. I, I might put that on because yesterday I was calorie deficient. I've actually got two of them there. I was calorie deficient yesterday, so I'm feeling like I need <coughs> something on these. And I'm <laughs> the other thing. I'm feeling I'm deficient. I'm feeling deficient in in um, fruit. Um, I don't know where I'm going to get my fruit from. Um, it's going to be part of the thing and maybe a little bit of cheese or dairy product because I've got a feeling I'm missing out on some major important food from the you know the circle of foods that you're meant to be eating well I better get into my specials and um, I think I showed you this yesterday it's just that hello I'm a special English muffin um, later today I'll be going out with the kids and I'll probably be going to the McDonald's in a Westfield in Sydney. Not sure about getting the camera in there to take any audio at least because there'll be music playing in the background and that's going to get me in all sorts of trouble. And what I should also do, very importantly, is introduce a mascot. I've got a mascot here who's going to help me in this escapade. And whenever I'm feeling like I'm starting to waver and think about the foods I used to eat, I'm going to go like that and it's going to knock some sense into me along the way. And what I might do is I might put some texture marks on this critter to show the advances that I'm going through during the month. The person next to me thinks I'm totally nuts. <laughs> it's alright. You'll see it on YouTube at some time. I think. <laughs> and what we'll do is I'm going to mark this bad boy up as each day go along, as start of the day zero, that'll confuse a bunch of people, but zero is a very important number. Why isn't it on number charts that children count? It's a good question, that one. So it was day zero, so that's an X. I think we'll put the first X down here somewhere. What do you reckon? X. Better put more X's on, looks mighty sus. Um, day one was yesterday. And today was it is day two. Who knows, some nice purpose might become of this doll if I get through this challenge. Well, I gotta tell you, this is much, much nicer with the um, the butter on. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. That's really nice. And as for the coffee, man, have I been missing not having that coffee as soon as I get out of bed. Oh. You're getting used to black coffee interesting i don't it's it's weird isn't it i'm just and there are some things i'm getting used to here oh mm. you know one thing i have to admit i'm quite surprised how busy this mcdonald's is it's a little bit of a recluse mcdonald's in the sense that it's not really near any major main roads or thoroughfares in the morning and um i don't know you know, well, because I don't go to McDonald's in the morning, you know, every day to witness what goes on, it's a bit of a awakening to me to see just how popular it is as a morning meal for many people. Well, just finished my yummy breakfast. <clears throat> I can tell you what, putting that butter on, I can really feel it on my lips, the the fattiness of it. An interesting feeling. Now, I normally wouldn't have felt felt it like that. <clears throat> Back to home. We go. Well, I've headed off down for lunch. As you can see, I've got the two children. I don't know what they're doing back there. Um, I'll be going to the McDonald's in Westfield Hornsby. Um, I think there'll be music playing in that place, so the camera is going to be difficult to do any sort of footage in there. Uh, I'm thinking of getting one of those chicken wraps. I'm thinking and a black coffee. What are you guys going to have? Coffee Patty! I want ice cream. Do you want an ice cream, do you? Um, do, you do, you, do you want to think about having the fruit bag Happy Meal? Okay. Really? Okay. You want to try that? Okay. See what it's like? Oh, I see someone's laundry. <laughs> um, what about little booby? What do you want? <laughs> I'm the baby. Oh, okay. Um, what do you want to... What do you, you want? You can't just have ice cream for lunch. What else do you want? Uh, I want the ice cream. That's it. 
if anyone can interpret that for me. I want ice cream. You can't just have ice cream for, for lunch. Maybe you can if you're a kid, but you can't as an adult, of course. <laughs> Well, no chips. No chips? Yeah. Oh, it's interesting, he's gone off the chips, hasn't he? I'll take the chips. Yeah, I know you would. I will. <laughs> You're having the fruit bag. No. Come on. Get with it. Well, I'm coming up to the Hornsby shopping area now. And considering I had that, yeah. those muffins for breakfast, I'm actually feeling not too bad. I'm feeling quite sprightly. Far better than um, than yesterday. Mom. What are you guys up to? What? You're not fighting over that clown. No. It's a cheeseburger. Here's a lesson in life. You never fight over a clown. No, it's a cheeseburger. <laughs> That's a little message for people I used to work with. It's a cheeseburger. It's a cheeseburger, is it? Yeah. Because it, it has the cheese. See? It has cheese. Yes. Yeah. I think the other motto is you can't keep a good clown down. There you go. And it Jim. Has X's on it. <laughs> Even on the front. I know you know what the X's mean? What? My days of pain. <laughs> it's true. McDonald's! You guys okay? McDonald's! Yeah. It's a cheeseburger. McDonald's! Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Are you being random? McDonald's! People have this problem as well with children in the back of the car. Hi! McDonald's! McDonald's! Oh my god! Okay, we're going into the darkness. Oh my god! That is a lot of cars! Yeah, there's a big traffic jam on the way out. Geez, fancy that at Hornsby Westfield. A traffic jam. <laughs> so, what are we gonna get? Gonna... Oh, what do you want? What do you want? For... Okay. And what um, do you want? Cheeseburger and happy meal. What about the fruit bag? Yeah, fruit bag. We we'll try the fruit bag? Yeah. Okay. Can I have a build your own meal? Build your own meal? Please. Uh, the salad, the chicken, the chicken wrap one. 1,580 kilojoules with uh, black coffee. Um, short, please. And a salad, please. Okay, and a Happy Meal with the cheeseburger. No, no pickle, no sauce. And what is a drink, please? What is a drink? Water, please. And a fruit bag Happy Meal with water, please. With no, no sauce, no pickles, both on both cheeseburgers. Thank you. No sauce. Pickle on both cheeseburgers. Thanks. Well, here was the order. It took me a little bit of time to um, to know what to say. That's this big build your own meal, and it's got a, a McWrap in it, chicken McWrap. But also got as a side a salad. So hopefully that's going to be all nice and healthy in there. And my daughter's going to try a fruit bag, I think. Yeah. yeah. Dad, I got a pony. So you got a pony? I got a pony. And you got that? What is it? This is my fruit bag. Cool. Jeez, I could do that fruit bag. I'm dying for a piece of fruit. Mm, fresh apples. Wow, look at that little guy. It's a happy meal of a hat. Maybe uh, share oh. How's that fruit bag? Nice? Nice. That's nice to hear. Take a look at my coffee here. It's a short black. It certainly is short. Should be nice. And there's my chicken McWrap. It looks nice. I'll probably just eat that and I will take that home for tonight. 
You enjoying that crabby? Yeah, let's see what's in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta tell you what, this wrap is really, really nice. Mmm. I'm loving it. So there's a pony. Which pony's that one? Rarity. Rarity. Do you like Rarity? No, she's a bit stubborn. She's stubborn? Yeah, she doesn't like getting dirty. Okay, and let's have a look at the other toy. Wow, look at that guy there. You want to show me how he works? Well, as we exit Hornsby, that was a fantastic lunch. It was interesting. I did um, video myself when I ordered that meal. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to put this in part of this video. I did it twice. The, the first time I became one of those those consumers who didn't, who didn't know what they were ordering and this got totally lost. Um, that's because it had a new um, thing which is called build your own meal I think it was it's actually quite a good idea and the number two choice was that chicken wrap and then you could choose two other things along the way I should have taken a bit of video of the actual thing I didn't look at it but one of the choices I think it was a cheeseburger a sundae an apple pie a coffee which I, I took a salad I took the options that I took was the the coffee and the salad now that's good because I can use that salad tonight with the salad I have left over from last night. That can be my dinner, those two salads. Um, but the chicken thing, I think, just off the top of my head, I looked at the killer jewels there. Um, it's basically double, that wrap was basically double um, what I would have had uh, from yesterday with that grilled chicken salad. So, But it's very very filling. Um, in fact, I found it a little, almost a little bit too much. So maybe my giant stomach is shrinking and then we went shopping and um, best of all we got some new toys what did you get guys we finally got this the creeper finally we've taken months to for the store that we go to to get these toys to get the creeper in and there's a whole bunch more trash pack toys you've got one of the places down there have you got the place set down there? Yeah. You want to bring it up? It's, there's um, there's these new trashies that have got wheels. What are they called? They're called um, um, trash pack wheelies. Trash pack wheelies. And what I've noticed with those toys is, is I get them now because trash wheels. Trash wheels is it? Whatever they are. I get them now because I know they're very popular toys, and if I don't get them now, I won't get them later on. Um, they're inexpensive. They're, the kids love the trash packs. Absolutely love them. And you've got into Mighty Beans again, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, so we're struggling to find <laughs> Mighty Beans because Mighty Beans has sort of been through its phase. I think you've got the Series 6 in Australia. I think Series no. 5 in the US. I think. No, we have Series 5. Yeah. Is it Series 5? Yeah. Maybe I'm totally wrong again. <gasps> the creeper! The creeper's coming out! We're doing an unboxing! It's out! What noise does creepers make? And what I should also mention, going back to the food, because that's what these videos is all about, is when I ordered one of the Happy Meals, we got the fruit bag. So in it you get a cheeseburger, the fruit bag instead of the fries. I didn't know how any of that worked. You get your toy and you get a drink. And I've always got water as a drink when I buy my children um, Happy Meals. Uh, I think, what's the other one? Juice, isn't it? You can get apple juice. Apple juice. But um, I think that I think that apple juice has got a fair. What I find is apple juice, orange juice seems to have a, a whole ton of sugar in it. But um, the apple was nice. I had a piece of it. I'm sort of yearning for a bit of fruit. Actually, funny how I don't know. Just that's the one. That, for some reason, got the desire to eat an orange. Um, I don't know. Maybe my body's telling me I need one. Did you enjoy going out? Did I enjoy going out? Well, yeah, of course I did. Uh, did I enjoy my, my McDonald's today? No. Yes, I did actually. I um, the the staff were at the Westfield McDonald just then. It was interesting. It was my order became a little bit of a complex order, and the staffer came in and helped out with the person who was a junior person in the store, and that was nice because the manager came in, sorted me out. Um, she saw that I had a little camera in my hand and um, she made sure everything was right so that's the thing if they see the camera 
then they'll, it's funny, sometimes you can get that, you know, oh, we've got to get this right. They don't, probably don't know who I am, oh, I hope. I uh, sort of, I want to go out, I'm in disguise, I've got the crust of the crown, the cr crust of the clown hair as a disguise. In the morning, bang, straight down to living in my local McDonald's. You're never up. Straight down, bang, uh, get my coffee, and I'll try and get something different for breakfast. Tricky, but I'm going to try. Well, I will do a bit of a DVD extra on day two. It's interesting, I've done a bit of a calculation, rough calculation of the kilojoules and calories today. And remember this morning, I today on day two, I had the butter. There's two little satchels of butter. Well, with those two, from my McDonald's data, it tells me there's about 338 kilojoules, or 80 calories, <clears throat> just in those two little meanies. So, the grand total for today, um, the chicken McWrap thing I had in the middle of the day at lunchtime, which is very nice, uh, was 1,500 kilojoules, or 358 calories. And I'm eating two gar garden salads again for dinner. This is the struggle to to just keep it to salads for the final meal of the day and keeping the intake of calories to a minimum um, at this time of the day which is coming up to seven o'clock <clears throat> so the total in kilojoules is 4,578 roughly and in calories that's 1,092 and you say to yourself well okay then well let's let's compare it to something else well, let's say if I went off to get a medium Big Mac meal with a normal Coke, in kilojoules, I'd be up for about 4,152, and calories, 1,112. So, in the sense, I've, I've taken in just a little bit more energy than, let's say, a medium-sized Big Mac meal, but it's been spread out over the whole day. And um, <clears throat> this is the thing. I mean, uh, yesterday, I just didn't eat enough. I felt, um, the afternoon, I just sank. So yesterday was 2,600 kilojoules or 620 calories, and today was 4,578 or 1,092 calories. But um, I don't, I mean, I'm starting to get the figures in my head when I look at something now. I'm starting to remember what it is in, in uh, energy. But I don't want to really get too bogged down in these numbers, but I'm starting to think, well, what I ate today was very fulfilling, especially the lunch, that roll was fantastic. Um, but I wouldn't really want to go above this, I feel. I think I can get away with, um, with what I ate. Plus, I had my walk today down to the shops and back. So um, <clears throat> we'll leave it at that. And onwards to day three.